Hi, welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support Video Knowledge Base Session. My name is Mohamed Hassan and this video will demonstrate how to download and install Informatica ILM Performance Monitor version 6.1. In this session, we will demonstrate how to download a build from the following link given and how to install the Informatica ILM Performance Monitor product on a single Oracle database instance. After logging into the ILM Performance Monitor on the server side, you can see this is the intro page that you will encounter. Here you are able to down, download a build documentation and access the Performance Monitor reports. On the far right hand side, you can download builds for Windows, Linux, and Solaris platforms. Also, you can download documentation on how to install the Performance Monitor uh, product. We will go ahead and use the Windows build, which I already have downloaded. As you can see here, uh, I've downloaded the Windows build and we will go ahead and run this uh, installation as administrator by right clicking on the executable and selecting run as administrator first you will see the introduction screen here it will just uh, have an introduction and will also give you the product name so you will go ahead and click next here you're able to specify um, where you would like to install the code tree um, you can uh, click choose and here you're able to browse to a specific folder that this is helpful if you do not remember exactly where the path of where you want to install the uh, performance monitor tool um, preferably I always append uh, the version that I'm installing and the date at which I am installing uh, this product it helps me identify multiple versions if I had installed um, more than one instance of this product so I'll, I will go ahead and enter 6.1 and today's date after doing so I'll go ahead and click next here you're able to choose if you want to create a new program group for this product or use an as a uh, use an existing program group here you see that there's already an existing group because I already have installed this product previously <coughs> so we will go ahead and use an existing group but you can also select a new group you can change the name as as to anything you prefer here you, you can also specify you only you like to create product icons in the start menu only on the desktop or only on the quick launch bar or you if you do not want to create any icons you can also select the do not create icons by choosing um, uh, create this product in an existing program group here you're able to create icons in the start menu desktop and in the quick launch bar just by selecting this option or create a new program group you can also select the create icons for all users if you want all the users to have access to this application using the shortcuts after doing so you can click next the last page is a summary page on which the product name is displayed. Um, it'll also remind you of the path where you will install uh, this product. Also, it will show where the shortcut folder is and the disk space information. Here, it will show you how much space is required in bytes and also how much is available on the current system. Next, you'll go ahead and click install. And finally, you have um, the final install complete screen on where a message is displayed uh, stating congratulations, 
the performance monitor has been successfully installed to the following path. And after doing so, you can go ahead and click done. All right, this brings us to the end of this session and we would like to hear from you. You can contact us um, at uh, support videos at informatica.com uh, through email or you can also leave a message on the Twitter account that we have for Informatica Global Customer Support. Thank you. Have a nice day.